Yo, I think we're ready to shoot this Black Friday promo video. Give me a fancy sweeping tapping kind of lick. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That'll do. Should we do a massive 50% off? 50? 90%. 50 is more than enough. 95% discount. You brought it on yourself, now you do it. 95% off. I like it. So I replace him with a second and it really gives us that nice opportunity to reach over for that dissonant in the top of it. Today we're going to talk about unlocking the fretboard. One of the most common questions I get asked is how do I break out from playing the same licks right here in the middle of the fretboard all the time? But there are some really cool sounds that you can get out of F sharp minor. It has three sharps, G sharp, C sharp, and obviously F sharp, hence F sharp minor. Where we are now, if you remember the first two pans. In this lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three different scales to play with, but at all costs, we are not going to hit our default minor shapes, our default pentatonic shapes. They are out. But that's also because I've got three really cool shapes and patterns that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to play some rhythm and riffs, and you're going to shred and give me some lead lines over the top. And don't worry, per position that I show you today, I give you two different sounds, a pentatonic and a major minor sound as well. Now we're back on the D string, starting with the downstroke again. This lesson is all about getting you really comfortable playing everywhere on the neck. It relies on a very simple seven step sequence, and I'm gonna show you how to apply that to do some really, really cool things. In fact, it's how I started to shred all over the neck at a very young age. This is one of the first things I learned, and it's been with me for all these years, and it's been invaluable. So I can't wait to get into this lesson. Let's get started. 